Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, this one's kind of a fun one. I love these. I love these because this is women saying, oh, I, I'm one with, I just want to be one with nature and I, I want to be a sensitive, good human being and connect with nature. And so I'm going to go to this retreat or I'm going to go on vacation. And, and what do they do? They go buck wild and they go crazy. And this girl's gone completely viral because not only did she talk about this, oh, this wonderful retreat, and we get to be in Guatemala and, and get in touch with our, our, no, what does she do the first minute she gets bored of that? She breaks up with a guy she's dating. She flies off to like Mexico or something or other, and she's just party 24 seven. You gotta love that hypocrisy. She's gone completely viral on Twitter today because of this stuff, so I'm gonna cover it. Uh, before I get into deep, don't forget, we're doing the race to win. Uh, we're trying to win some cash to get do a men's retreat. So please head over to the links down the, below the video. We've got uh, Razors over at Jeremy's Razors, a non-woke company that, that does some awesome products. I did a review on it uh, also today if you haven't seen that. And uh, if you're not an American and you can't get the Razors, go to Daily Wire, sign up, become a member today. You're supporting Daily Wire, Gina Carano, uh, Jordan Peterson, um, uh, Ben Shapiro. Uh, God, there's so many other guys over there. I, I can't remember all their names. And we're currently in first place, but we got a couple guys uh, come up through the ranks, and it looks like another, maybe another channel or something or other that may be nipping at our heels. So let's uh, let's knock that out if we could. All right. So into this, um, I can't play this because she plays music that is copyright. And rather than stop the music every five seconds to interrupt it, I'm going to read what she because everything like most people on on, on TikTok, they've got to put their words over their over their video, but. Uh, I'll give you a narration for those of you guys just listening. I'm going to mute it. But here she is in a little hut in like Guatemala. And it says, uh, welcome to my life in a conscious community in the Guatemalan mountains. And she comes in. And now, again, she's honestly, I think she's got implants. I think she's got silicone implants. Uh, she's got a little bit of the horsey teeth going, but she's not bad looking. You know, she'd certainly get attention from guys. And she comes in and spins around and shows her beautiful little Guatemalan paradise. And, and now that's a beautiful shot. Um, that is an, a, an amazing shot of the city and the water and the mountain. Looks like Mount Fuji. I mean, that's beautiful. But you see, she's like, she's in good shape. She's, she's an attractive girl. They talk about, uh, this is where we work in our, uh, what does she call it? She says, surrounded by volcanoes and a lake. And then she says, uh, where we work together. Right, and, and here's one of these guys, probably her hippie boyfriend here, that she decides to break. But they've got their laptops and and they're working remotely, probably working for some some woke company up in the United States, telling them how to do the politics, even though she's left. And here they're having like a dance. Uh, they say we play together. Oh, and they're playing music and drums and guitars and they're painting. Oh, it's, what a beautiful, glamorous life and. Here, here, of course, they have one of the locals uh, serving her food, and uh, they're all eating together. It looks very vegan, and they say, oh, follow to see more of my life here. One month later, what happens in one month of her living in this paradise? <laughs> I love this. She's, she's like, you know what? I thought about this, and I'm totally made for the streets. So here she is. She left Guatemala. She broke up with her when boyfriend. I first arrived Oh, I can't, I can't play the audio because, again, they've got, she's got crappy music over it, but they'll hit me for copyright. You can see she's been out in the sun. She's got her freckles and her hair and little, and she's like, oh, I, I, you know what I had to do? I had to, and I wish I could play the audio. Maybe I play just a little bit of it so you can see, hear what she's saying. Oh, I forgot to unmute it here. By myself, I was like, oh, this is weird. Why did I do this? She's talking in California Valley voice. She's like, oh, after being here for a month, I was just like, this is weird. Why did I do this? I'm so not into this. So what am I doing now? And all it becomes is, all it becomes is party time. She's like, let's play. Let This is why I came. Look at me on the beach and look at me in a club with two, look at this, with two different dudes. Now remember, she just broke up with her boyfriend. Here's two, uh, here's two chads that are, are now, uh, she's getting some strange while she's off in Mexico. And uh, she's got her cleavage and her everything sticking out, riding a scooter around. She's at another club and drinking and at the beach drinking and at another club partying and drinking with firework. And what did it become? What did it become? It became, um, I, I started off going to this wonderful retreat 
where I can be one with nature and connect with my boyfriend and all these beautiful views. And within 30 days, she flew to Mexico, uh, to I think it's Mexico City, hooking up with dudes, riding scooters and drinking every night. Party girl, party girl. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of guys, a lot of guys know the truth of this. It's a few drinks. It's, you know, shirtless guys. Maybe they got lots of muscle. They're really attractive. You know, uh, toned beach body with a little bit of an accent. And before you know it, her panties are off on the beach and, and he's balls deep. And uh, she forgot, like, my boyfriend, who? Oh, that guy. Yeah, no, he's a million miles away. This is why guys have problems with, with women going on their own solo vacation or their vacation with all their besties, because you know the hookup's going to happen. What stays in Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays in, in Vegas. Well, it's certainly going to count when you're off in Mexico. You know this as well. And it's why a lot of guys do not trust the, I'm going out with my girlfriends to a club or a rave. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, it's, it's controlling. It's, you, you shouldn't be able to control a woman. And if you can't trust a woman, you shouldn't be with her. You know what? I believe that 100%, which is why a lot of guys will not date these party girls and these club girls and these girls that want to go off on these adventures with, you know, four or five or six other, you know, their girlfriends or whichever one is single is like, girl, you know, he's way back there. He's probably cheating on you right now. Don't feel bad for partying it up. Have a good time with it. And you know they will, and you know they are. And when they come back, they've had, you know, four or five different dudes they've hooked up with over the course of a week or two. And they're going to come back and be like, nope, we just hung out on the beach. And we went to a couple of clubs. But, you know, it was during the day on a beach, just margaritas with the girls. You know how that is. It never fails. And here's another influencer that despite everybody being able to see her bad actions, she couldn't help it. She did it. And now she's getting roasted online. I got a couple other things I wanted to show you here. Now, one of you posted this. I've actually had this waiting for my next video. And one of you posted it down through the comments, but but it's very apropos. You've got a you've got a gal here that's got puppy food up here, and the other thing in her basket is like wine. So she's she was, she's over 21 years old. She's got wine, she's got dog food. Now I have to turn this up a little bit so you can hear uh, her talking and what she says. But but she is going to scream in there. So so if you have headphones, just I'll try to keep it adjusted where she doesn't blow you out. But what she did is she cut ahead of a guy, a cut ahead of a guy in line at Walmart, and then when he tries to say something, she apparently freaks out, starts screaming like a three year old toddler. Had reached in his cart and threw some of his things, and she was in the wrong from the beginning. But remember, this is an over twenty one year old woman. So let me play this and you can hear her just rage. It, like she's nuts. I can't calm down. I can't be fucking touched. And she's got like a Hello Kitty backpack or some stupid shit like that. This is supposedly an adult. And she's like, I can't be touched. And the guy's like, I didn't touch her. I can't calm down. I can't be fucking touched. I didn't touch you, man. I was man. Not that long ago and I can't stand another man touching me. Well, no one did that. Is this a prank? And dude's like, is this a prank? Like, is there a camera around here? And here's the thing. Either one of, one of two things, one of three things. This person, I mean, she's definitely mentally unwell. But is she un mentally unwell and this is for real? Or is she mentally unwell and virtue signaling because she got called out for being a for cutting this guy off and and she's like well my here's my escape plan i'm just gonna wig the fuck out who knows but again maybe you need to get some help before you just actually go out in public you freak he can't he won't go away he You're needs to go away he's the problem i need to leave no, no, no. Just we'll take to I still this cut him off and says he's the problem he needs to leave no no you sweetheart you the up whatever you leave you leave your shit in the cart go out in the car handle your shit grow up then you can come back and purchase your items like a big girl but instead she's throwing a f***ing tantrum like a three-year-old and saying he needs to leave f*** you i need to leave no, no, just no, no, no. We'll take i still got i still got okay we'll she threw some bridge. of my stuff okay we'll just take to stuff. Bridge, okay? i hell if i know i'm so sorry 
Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Oh, no. I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, well, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just go, please. Just go. That's please. an adult. You're making it loud. Let's just walk up. I'm just to talking. Walk up to her. Walk. <laughs> She's like a three-year-old throwing a tantrum. And this guy's like, and he said something. He said something I wouldn't have said. He said, I'm sorry. I just, no, you never say you're sorry because you're not sorry. I would have been like, look, she's mentally ill. You need to call the police. You need to call somebody. She's mentally ill. And when they say, no, you just need to come over here. I'm like, no, she cut me off. I'm shopping. I'm here. If she has an issue, she can leave. But this is why they throw these freak outs. This is why they do this so they can get their way. So you know what? I'd be the belligerent and be like, look, I'm shopping. She's the one with an issue. She confronted me. She cut me off. She grabbed shit out of my cart and throw it. I'm not going anywhere. She can get the fuck out. That's me. Now, five years ago, seven years ago, I would have probably been like this guy and said, you know what? Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll move along, whatever. Let's de-escalate this. Not anymore. If you're not mentally well enough to be in public, you get the fuck out. Go order your cat mom shit on Amazon. I'm not, I'm, I'm done with all this stuff. And, and now she's screaming like a banshee. Chris, what was Chris? Like Chris. Just, just to calm everything down. Uh, guys, thank you all for who's, who've helped me out so far with Jeremy's Razors and the Race to the Retreat. Keep it up. Let's keep pushing. Let's, let's lock in first place. Uh, I know you're going to get tired of it, guys, but this means so much to me. And you guys have been so awesome, and I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.